This year, the GPU market has been all over the place with Nvidia and AMD GPUs being way overpriced. We thought that Nvidia's new Turing series would solve this issue, but it really didn't do anything. There is still hope from Nvidia with their possible new GTX 1160, maybe even a new whole 1100 series without ray tracing technology included in it. But what about AMD's side of things? AMD did not launch a new 600 series this year, but they did launch a new 590, which is pretty much equivalent to the RX 580. But that is pretty much just a mid-level card. As for the higher range, AMD Vega just really isn't cutting it. It is a lot more power hungry and not as powerful as Nvidia's cards. However, AMD Navi has received a lot of hype suggesting that it will perform really well for a really low price, similar to how Ryzen did in the CPU market. So here's what the leaks suggest. Welcome to Hari's Hobbies. Alright, so first let's take a look at all of the new GPUs that are rumored to be launching. First of all, AMD seems to be copying Nvidia's naming scheme with the new cards rumored to be named the RX 3060, 3070, and 3080. AMD has done this numerous times in the past with their X299 motherboards and Ryzen 3, 5, 7, and possibly even 9 in the future, so this new naming scheme may be legitimate. Starting off with the RX 3060, it is rumored to have performance on the level of the soon coming 2050 or current NVIDIA GTX 1060. So basically, we can expect this card to be very similar to the RX 580 and 590 which are really good mid-level GPUs. The RX 3060 is supposed to be based on Navi 12, come with 4GB of GDDR6 RAM and have a TDP of 75 watts. The best part is that it is only supposed to cost $130. As for the higher level RX 3070, it is rumored to have performance on the level of the unreleased 2060 or current 1070. So this card would be very similar to Vega 56. This card is also supposed to be based on Navi 12, come with 8GB of GDDR6 memory and have a TDP of 120 watts. Again, the price is supposed to be really really good at $200. As for the top-end RX 3080, this card is rumored to have performance on the level of the new 2070 or the current GTX 1080. This card is supposed to be just slightly faster than the Vega 64 at 15% faster. This card is supposed to be based on Navi 10, come with 8GB of GDDR6 memory and have a TDP of 150 watts. And of course, the price is supposed to be very favorable at $250, which is half the price of the 2070. It is even $150 cheaper than the cheapest 1080s that you can find. In my opinion, this is absolutely the best thing that AMD can do because AMD is clearly not superior to Nvidia in terms of technology. They are also working on ray tracing technology, but they simply don't have the crazy AI technology that Nvidia has or are working on the high level GPUs that Nvidia are. But there is a clear place that AMD can excel, which is price. So as Nvidia is trying to force ray tracing technology, AMD could simply take their current cards, put it on a new architecture, pair it up with some faster RAM, and take out the unnecessary ray trace technology which will make it a lot cheaper and really put a dent in the market. This will introduce some solid competition to the GPU market and Nvidia will hopefully react better than Intel, especially considering that their stock price has halved in the last 6 months. Originally, Navi was rumored to come out in the end of 2018, but 2018 is pretty much over so that's clearly not happening. There are some rumors that are suggesting that AMD will reveal Navi at CES this year. However, we haven't heard anything from AMD, so I'm not really sure about that. Last time, we saw AMD launch Vega in the summer, and it has only been a year and a half since that release. So AMD may very well wait for this summer and the completion of two years since the release of Vega to release AMD Navi. However, Given the current market situation and the fact that AMD Vega really isn't doing very well in the first place, AMD may just go ahead and reveal Navi as CES. So Navi may very well be on the horizon and be the horizon of GPUs. So what do you guys think about all of this? Are you guys more excited for AMD Navi or Nvidia's rumored GTX 1160? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys liked this video, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari. I'll see you guys on the next one.